What's up guys, Dr. Jared here. And in this video, I wanna share some simple exercises with you to help melt away tension and pain in your upper trapezius and shoulders, kind of this area right in here. It's an area where a lot of people carry a lot of stress, a lot of tension, and in this video, again, I wanna share some techniques and exercises to help you to alleviate that. Now, in order to maximally do that, in order to accomplish that outcome, our exercises have to meet two objectives. First, we have to promote relaxation in the upper trapezius. And so we do that with some trigger point release, some massage techniques, some stretching, some active range of motion. Those things are going to help to, again, relax and release tension in that area. But if that's all that we did, it wouldn't correct the actual cause of the pain. A lot of times that muscle becomes overworked because the lower trapezius is weak. And so if we can strengthen and train the lower trapezius to hold your shoulders in a better position to improve your posture, that is actually going to eliminate a lot of the tension and pain that you feel in your upper trapezius or in this area right up here. And so that's what I wanted to share with you today. I've got six exercises that are going to help us to accomplish both of those objectives. Of course, if that's the relief that you feel by the end of this video, leave a thumbs up down below. Also comment down below with your experience. I love to hear from you guys. That being said, first exercise is coming at you right now. Now, the first thing I like to do to promote relaxation in this area is to start with some sort of massage or trigger point release or acupressure technique. This is a great way to promote relaxation, to increase blood flow, and to just help things to move a little easier for some of the other exercises coming up. The easiest way that you can do that at home is you're gonna grab a ball, either a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball or a racket ball works well, and a sock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that ball down in the sock, put it down kind of in the bottom. And then in this arrangement, we kind of have a handle to hold onto and a way that we can manipulate exactly where that ball is on our upper back. Then what you're going to do is come up to a wall. So again, put that kind of right in that upper trap area. And then you can just turn around and lean a little bit lower, there we go. Turn around and lean right into that wall. And what you should feel there, you'll identify kind of some areas that's maybe a little more tender. Um, you can kind of sit on that for 30 seconds or so at a time. That's a good way to release trigger points. Or you can kind of like move it back and forth and just kind of massage that area to get it loosened up. I've got one right there. And so again, if I identify that, you can kind of lean on that for again about 30 seconds till you kind of feel it melt away and relax and that's typically what I recommend. And so about 60 seconds on one side and then you can go to about 60 seconds on the other side. Again, just a great way to promote relaxation and increase blood flow into the area. Now, if you're susceptible to muscle knots like my wife is, she kind of gets these muscle knots in this upper trap tension and pain all the time. Uh, this is a great little investment right here. This is called a Theracane. I've got this linked down below. It's got this knob kind of on the end of it and then the handles here and you can just use that as a really easy way to accomplish the same thing that I just showed you, to kind of do this self-massage, to identify those knotted up areas and to promote relaxation that way. The second thing that we want to do is just a couple of easy stretches. I just need to get this muscle to relax and to move the way that we need it to. The two stretches that I like the most for that are the ear to shoulder stretch or the upper trapezius stretch and then the smell your armpit stretch or the levator scapulae stretch. Here's what they look like. So we're gonna start with the ear to shoulder stretch. If my tension was over here on the right side, I'm gonna duck my left ear over to my left shoulder until I get a good stretch all through kind of this outside upper part of my neck. Try to remember to keep this shoulder down. Sometimes it helps if you put your hand to the small of your back, that's gonna to help to keep your shoulder down as you tilt your ear or as you tilt your left ear over towards your left shoulder until we get a good comfortable stretch through that left side. Now if you need even more than that, what you can do with your left hand is grab the right side of your head and just apply a very gentle overpressure to it. Now in that position, I get a really good stretch basically from the base of my skull all the way out here to the tip of my shoulder blade. What I would do is I'd hold that in a comfortable position for about 20 seconds and then I'm gonna come over here to the other side and repeat the same thing. And so about 20 seconds to that side, and then you can repeat that three times. And then the next stretch that I like, again, I called it the smell your armpit stretch. You've got another muscle in your back. It's called your levator scapulae. It goes from basically the top of your shoulder blade to the base of your skull. Super common to get knots and tension in that area as well. 
To stretch that one out, what I want you to do is rotate your head about 45 degrees and then look down at your pocket. So if you look down towards your opposite pocket, it puts your head in the right position. Or again, I'll tell people to smell your armpit to kind of go down into that direction. Right now I'm rotating left and looking down to the left. My left hand is gonna come up to the back of my head and apply just a very gentle overpressure. Again, try to keep this right shoulder down. Try to keep this right shoulder depressed while you do this, and that's going to even enhance that stretch even more. You're gonna feel this in a little bit different area. Again, this is kind of more around to the back of your neck and towards the back of your upper shoulder, but it's a great stretch. What I want you to do is hold that in a comfortable position for 20 seconds, and then we're gonna repeat that three times to both sides. Now, after the mobilization and after the stretching, I always like to follow that up with just some shoulder rolls or some active mobilization, some active range of motion to those muscles after we've performed those activities. And so stand with really good posture, really simple. What I'm gonna have you do is raise your shoulders up towards your ears, pull them back as far as you can, and then pull them down as far as you can. So basically we're making just really big uh, circles with our shoulders and it looks just like this. And again, what I would have you do is I'd probably go oh, about 10 to 20 rolls on this is all. What we wanna do is just continue to get those muscles going to continue to warm them up and promote more blood flow into that area. And so again, about 20 or so shoulder rolls, and then that's it for the relaxation of the upper traps. Where we need to focus now is in the strengthening of the lower traps. Here's how we're gonna do it. This first postural exercise is one of my favorite for your middle traps and rhomboids, or those muscles that sit right between your shoulder blades. This is a scapular pinches, or scap pinches. What I want you to do is stand upright with really good posture. That means I want you to unround your shoulders, so bring your shoulders back and stick your chest out, and then pull your shoulders down out of your ears. So it's a focus on bringing your shoulders down as well. Now I want you to bend your elbows at 90 degrees. In this position, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. Right now I've got my thumbs up. Now my thumbs are pointed at the walls on either side of me, but I want you to pull through your shoulder blades, pull through your back until your thumbs are pointed directly back behind you and then return to this starting position. So again, from this position right here, I'm gonna pull using my shoulder blades and using those muscles right between my shoulder blades contract and hold one, two, three, and then return to the starting position again. Again, what you should feel is a really good contraction, a really good tightening of those muscles between your shoulder blades while you hold it in that position right there. And typically a good number to shoot for is about 15 to 20 reps, and you can repeat that three times. Now you can further enhance this with some resistance. If you have some resistance band, what you can do is just grab onto that and then all the mechanics are still the exact same. It's just a really simple way to add a little more resistance to that exercise if you have that available. The last exercise that I wanna show you is my favorite for your lower traps and possibly one of the most important ones when we're talking about treating this tension in the upper traps. We're gonna activate those lower traps with some prone Ys. Um, this gets its name from the letter Y. If I stood in this position, it looks like the letter Y. We're gonna do that basically laying down on our stomachs. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you over an exercise ball, but I'll also show you how to do it on the edge of your bed and then also on your floor. Extra exercise ball is my personal favorite, so that's what we'll start with, but you'll get those other ones if you don't have this available. Now, let's see, what I want you to do is you're going to come, um, again, we're gonna lay down on our chest. We're gonna start in this position right here. Hands are in front of me and down towards the floor. Now what I want you to do is pull with the muscles through your shoulder blades and even the ones that are right below your shoulder blades, that's where your lower traps are, to bring your arms up into this Y position right here. Hold one, two, three, and then bring them right back down. And so again, we're gonna pull, we're gonna hold up into this Y position, focusing on squeezing the muscles that are right down underneath or down below the shoulder blade. Hold one, two, three, and then return right back to that starting position. If you'd like to try to do this over the edge of your bed, I would recommend you just do it one arm at a time. Looks just like this. You're gonna lay down on the edge of your bed with one arm hanging down, and then all the mechanics are just the same. You're going to raise your arm up above you at an angle, kind of in that half Y position, and then slowly return back down to the starting position. Again, the focus is pulling through the muscles that are right below your shoulder blade. 
Now you can also do this laying down on your floor. What you do is lay down on your stomach with your arms extended out in that Y position. We're gonna cut down on the range of motion, but we can still get good muscle activation. And so from this position, we're just going to keep our arms straight, focus on pulling through those muscles in your back and those muscles right below your shoulders to lift your elbows and hands up off of the floor, hold one, two, three, and then return right back down to that starting position. Sets and reps across all variations of this exercise are about the same, 15 to 20 is a good number to shoot for, repeated three times. Now, if you're prone to muscle knots in this area, you get these trigger points in your upper traps and neck. I've got you covered there too. What I want you to do is click on this video from Tone and Titan, that will help you out. For some reason, YouTube thinks you might like this one, check that one out, see if YouTube's right. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan yet, hit the circle right here to do that. I would love to see you back for future videos. Until next time, we'll see you again soon here on Tone and Titan.